This is George from High Tech Legion. With the way the past, uh, press revolves around closed loop coolers, you might think that air cooling is dead. Uh, quite the contrary, there's still quite a few enthusiasts who much prefer air cooling to the closed loop liquid coolers you see going around. Simple reason, you get better performance for your money, you get better performance for the noise ratio. If you're somebody who uses your CPU a lot and stresses your CPU a lot during the day, doing a lot of video transcoding, CAD work, etc., an air cooler is going to be a much quieter solution. While an AIO might be great for running Prime 95, you're not going to be sitting around doing that all day, and you're not going to want to listen to that all day. Now, the enthusiast air cooling companies are still making noise out there. We're seeing offerings from Noctua, new offerings from Fantex, and of course a new offering from Be Quiet, the Dark Rock Pro 3. Getting a look at the Dark Rock Pro 3, let's start with the box. First off, any component that comes to market is going to have a purpose in mind. The Dark Rock Pro 3 very simply states it right here. No compromise silence in performance. What you're looking at is a cooler that's going to be able to handle very high-end overclocks, or I should say very high overclocks, with enthusiast-level performance without making a whole lot of noise. Uh, they claim with the new silent wings, 120 millimeter in the front and 135 millimeter in the center, it tops out at 26.9 dB. That is almost dead silent. I mean, you're talking about a very, very quiet cooler in the case. Also, 250 watt D, uh, TDP you've got some serious cooling potential here going. So, looking at it, you get a nice look at uh, the front with the Silent Wings logo up front as well. Going around to the back, you do get a couple of the features. Uh, most notably, you've got a new motor in the P uh, Silent Wings PWM fans, which promise um, less noise from the motor itself, so you're gonna get some very quiet performance. Also, seven heat pipes, um, also adorned very nicely with the top cap with the 14 heat pipe caps. Uh, some of the interesting things here, uh, it's going to fit every uh, current socket for Intel and AMD, so you've got 1150, 55, 56, 1366, as well as 2011 on the Intel side, and your AM2, AM3 uh, variations, as well as FM1, FM2, FM3 over on AMD. So, you've got all kinds of uh, compatibility going there as well. Now, the cooler itself topped out at 187 grams with the fans on, so it has been lightened up since last year, so they've made it quieter, they've made it lighter, and they've also upped the cooling performance. Now, let's take a look at the Dark Rock Pro 3 itself. As you can see, very large cooler. As always from Be Quiet, as we see, absolutely beautifully done. It comes fully assembled inside the box. One of the nice things about Be Quiet coolers, you don't have to take the fans off, you don't have to disassemble them to put them in the case. And we're going to see the installation in a little while. Very simple but very solid installation method. Now taking a look at the top, as you see, beautifully done in black brushed aluminum with the uh, caps and the Be Quiet logo. 120 millimeter fan up front. You've got a 135 millimeter sandwich between the two towers. Now, as you see, they call this a wave design that they've got going on the uh, heat spreaders themselves on the fins, and as you can see, it does jut in and out. This allows for a little more air to pass through. It also allows for better dissipation characteristics. Moving down the bottom, completely smooth surface on the contact plate, as you see, milled very, very cleanly. Seven heat pipes, and interestingly, and we'll just pull out the fan cables out of the way so we can get a look at this. On top of your contact block, you've also got heat spreaders, so you're going to get a little bit more dissipation going from the block itself. Now, as we know, and we've seen before, it's not a tremendous amount. You're not going to sit here and say, oh my god, it went down 10 degrees because of this, but it will actually knock down, you know, knock down temperatures a degree or two without much of a problem just by adding more uh, dissipation to the block itself, so less needs to go through the heat pipes, and you're getting dissipation from the block so you get better all-around cooling. So you've got a really beautiful design. And as you can see, Be Quiet fins also are dimpled, as you can see. Um, Be Quiet does a beautiful job in their construction on all of their products. Uh, no exception here on the Dark Rock Pro 3, as you can see. I mean, beautiful solder places, absolutely everything comes together absolutely perfectly. And really, when you pick up a Be Quiet product, and Dark Rock Pro 3 included, what you're seeing is a really high quality product. And it's very evident looking at it, feeling it, and 
the way it comes packaged. So you've got a really nice look here. All black, all the way around. The heat pipes are a dark nickel. So you're going to have a great look inside the case as well. So we've gotten a look at the outside of the Be Quiet uh, Dark Rock Pro 3. Let's take a look at how it goes into the case. Heading into the installation kit, first find manual, well illustrated as you see. And as I say, it's a very, very simple install. Good guide the entire way through, not going to be a problem. Next, one size fits all backplate. Mounting brackets for AMD and Intel. Another set of fan clips if you want to add a third fan. Small wrench for the included nuts and bolts as well as the washers here. And finally, small tube, single, maybe two uses of thermal interface material. Our first step of the install, this is for Intel only on AMD, you won't have to do this step. On the mounting brackets themselves, you will see that you've got the outer holes and there are three distinct notches in the holes. So um, inside hole for 775, center hole for the 1150 series, and outer hole for 1366 and 2011. We're gonna do um, a, an 1150 install today. So I'm gonna be using the center hole. With the indentation facing away from you, you'll wanna put the small mounting nut through the appropriate hole. And then go over to the other side and cap it like so. Use your small included wrench, give it a little snug down, and you're good to go there. And you're going to want to do that obviously on all four corners before mounting this onto the cooler itself. Next we're going to attach the brackets. Bracket itself, as you see, in the mounting block, you've got four screw holes, two on each side. They will line up. Make sure you have the curve going up and away from the contact block and the four screws. We'll just screw right into the block itself, holding the mount into place. Once you've done that, you are good to go getting the cooler into the case itself. As I say, there's not a whole lot of assembly uh, required. You don't need to take the fans off. The fans are already pre-wired to a Y connector, as you can see here. So you've only got one PWM fan uh, cable to plug in. So simple, quick, easy installation. Now let's go get out the case and get her in. And our first step, we're gonna put the back plate into place, as you see here, and simply put four screws right through the uh, back plate and through the motherboard itself, and we'll see the bolts sticking through on the inside. Now you do see here uh, this cutout. This is not actually the uh, case cutout. This is the back plate on an Asus Z78 saber tooth. It does actually wiggle in there. It's a little bit tight, but uh, it will work. You will not see this situation, obviously, on a motherboard that does not use a back plate. It'll go straight on without a problem. With that done, when you're looking from the front side of the motherboard, you can clearly see the bolts coming through. Now next we're gonna take the clips, which you can see, are three quarter round and will actually pop into place and push them up against the motherboard and simply clip them on. That'll hold the bolts into place while you're working with them and also act as a spacer between the motherboard and the um, mounting brackets on the cooler itself. Next, as you can see, I've applied Tim to the uh, CPU itself. Now all we're gonna do is take and line up four screw holes with the four bolts and screw in from the back. And the installation is that simple. After you've got all four started, naturally you want to tighten in an X pattern. Uh, you want to start up top, tighten a bit, move caddy corner, move over, and continue in that way. Uh, you tighten until the screw stops. They are stopped. Don't try to over tighten. One thing I do know about these, this particular mounting kit and these screws for a fact is they do strip rather easily. They are a rather soft metal. Uh, it's actually the heads that tend to strip out very, very easily. So you want to get it snug just until you feel the stop. Don't try to over tighten them.
And once you've got them snug, you're all in. And finally, in the case, as you can see, the Dark Rock Pro 3 is really fantastic looking. All black, with the aluminum top. You've got the rivets up top. Really, really nice looking. Very polished looking. Uh, it stands 163 millimeters tall, so you do need to make sure you have 163 millimeters of clearance, which shouldn't be uh, really a problem in any of today's uh, mid and full tower cases. Now, as far as RAM clearance goes, uh, as you can see, it blocks all four slots. No question about that. You don't have a lot of room. I'm using uh, Patriot G2 RAM uh, in this build right now, which does not have an extended heat spreader in any way, shape, or form. It is a standard heat spreader on here, and there's tiny little bit of room between uh, that and the fan in the fourth slot uh, itself. So, I mean, as far away from as you can get from the CPU, you're still going to have uh, a need for standard height RAM, or as Corsair calls it, low-profile RAM. So, you do need to uh, keep that in mind. So, great looking in the case. Let's see how it performs. Looking at it strictly by the numbers, what we're seeing is distinctly an enthusiast type performance uh, from the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3. It is a couple of degrees off from the best air coolers we've tested and the best closed loop coolers we've tested, but there is something going on here that you don't see in the numbers. The overall experience as far as noise was absolutely phenomenal. The Dark Rock Pro 3 was one of the quietest coolers I've ever heard, uh, single or dual fan, which is actually pretty surprising. That claim of 26 dB definitely holds up. It's really incredibly quiet, even under the heaviest of loads at full fan speeds. Uh, distinctly quieter than the Fantex. Um, also, uh, the Noctua, it's about on par with, with the single fan. Uh, might even be a little bit quieter than the Noctua uh, NHU14S, but uh, turns up, you know, similar performance numbers to the Noctua. So, what you get here, you get phenomenal cooling performance. You've got a beautiful build uh, on the cooler itself. Looks great in the case. Is very large, as we say. Now, you do have the problem it does overlay all four RAM slots. You're going to have to use standard height RAM with it. Uh, you can move the fan up a tiny bit, you know, a little bit depending on the width of your case. It might detract from performance if you go too far with it, but shouldn't too much. If you want to do a smaller heat sink, um, such as a Mushkin Frostbite, uh, g skill Sniper, etc. But you're not going to be doing, you know, the Vengeance, Predator, Trident um, type of RAM along with this cooler uh, just because it does block the RAM slots, as we say. So overall, uh, I'm going to give the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 an Editor's Choice Award. Now, uh, like I say, the cooling performance is a couple of degrees off from the best coolers we've seen, but it is an overall such a quiet experience and such good cooling that definitely deserves an Editor's Choice Award. The other thing being, it is absolutely flawless in its finish and, uh, finish and presentation and build quality. It is really one of the nicest looking and one of the best built and finished coolers I've seen in a long, long time. You couple that with the absolute low noise during daily computing, it's just dead silent within the case. Even when you're putting, you know, a strain on the CPU, you're not going to really hear it inside the case. So Editor's Choice Award for the Dark Rock Pro 3 definitely comes up big and makes a statement for air cooling once again.